revolutionary British documentarist Ruby Grayson was born in Glasgow in 1904 into an intellectual and progressive family. Her parents, both teachers, were committed Labour Party supporters. Her mother, a woman of her time, was a suffragette. Ruby's older brother John was the original founder of the documentary movement. Ruby collaborated on some of the films that he created, adding a unique and evolutionary element to the style of interview not seen before, giving rise to the fly-on-the-wall documentary style that we know and love today. Ruby was a pioneer, a pacifist, light-bearer, a woman of vision far beyond her time, paving the way for generations of women to come. The co-founder of modern documentary format, she was a catalytic force who instinctively ripped up and set fire to the rule book, paving the way for a myriad of human possibilities. For hope, for peace, justice, equality, freedom, progress, development and self-determination. Ruby's tenacious spirit assured a space in modern media where truth and human dignity were placed firmly at its heart. This philosophy, central to her own existence and to her work in film and documentary making. Underlying her short yet powerful body of work were the principles of human rights enshrined in the UN Declaration on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms. Armed with this unparalleled vision through the film she created, Ruby consciously and determinedly opened a dialogue within which each and every one of us could participate and directly benefit. These open-ended and frank conversations led to a powerful evolutionary process of individual and social awareness. The benefits of such could be shared by all. In doing so, development became possible in ways that it previously had not. Leading by example, Ruby proved that honest, authentic and unadulterated narratives were a fundamental tool in the production of meaningful and realistic documentary making. Ruby shone a beacon of light by which we were able to learn to navigate social and political problems through the lens of empathy, humanity and our intrinsic and symbiotic interrelation. This was truly Ruby's unique cosmovision, her gifts to the future. On 17th of September 1940, whilst recording her final wartime documentary on British child evacuees bound for resettlement in Canada, Ruby, along with 265 of her fellow passengers, tragically lost their lives at sea. The city of Benares was torpedoed by Nazi U-boats 600 miles from land. Of the 90 children aboard, just 20 survived the tragedy. Ruby produced just 12 films in her lifetime, yet 80 years after her passing, the legacy of her visionary work continues irrevocably to impact the way in which we use narrative to this day.